All right, guys, we're going in. Welcome to Retro Expo, where collectors come together and share their passion, their art, and their collection with other collectors. The passion is deep with this crowd. There you go. Everybody loves collecting. Everybody loves retro. But what's cool about this is that these folks not only share a passion, but a love, a desire to expand their collection. Got Plan 9 toys here. Hi. Got the collector's zone here. Uh, love you too, man. <laughs> it's always good to see these old school cartridges. I always wonder in this day and age when they still survive. Where's E.T.? <laughs> Yeah, I remember hearing about that, you know, that landfill with all the ETs. I was like going, is that real? Is that a myth? And sure enough. You want to talk a little bit about your Plan 9 toys? Oh, well, you name it toy-wise, we try to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming you're also a collector. Mm -hmm. Ideal mainly in Transformers and Motu, Masters of the Universe. Got you. But as you can see, I buy and sell a little bit of everything. Transformers, G.I. Joe, Star Trek, uh, Star Wars, Captain Power, Lobo. Yeah, I try to carry a little bit of everything. Got Some you. local art from local artist Nick Flynn. Oh, right. You can tell he's a big Rat Fink fan. <laughs> I haven't seen stuff like that since the 70s, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the hang time. No problem, man. You, have, you enjoy the show. Right on. Got a line going on here. It's going to be some of these guys who are going to do some exhibits. Check this out. Isn't that bass? Scott? Yep. Hi, I'm Jeff with Collector Zone. Hi, Jeff. Nice to you? meet you. Yeah, we're just doing some videotaping of the, the uh, Retro Expo, and we sat down did a, a podcast with Scott, and just having a blast, so love your Star Wars, man. Thanks, man. Have, so, have you worked with Lucas directly? Yeah, since 2005. Wow. All right, so how did you get involved with this, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I was at San Diego Comic Con. I uh, was just finishing up a stint with Marvel, doing the Punisher covers, and then uh, one of the art directors from uh, Lucasfilm came by and asked if I wanted to do some work for him. Nice. And far be it for me to turn down green money. So <laughs> I'd never say no to George if he ever asked me to do anything. That's cool. You are an amazing artist. Would you mind if I flip through? Oh, Whoa. This is really killer. All these are signed by you, I see. Um, typically, if the ones are signed, they were originally uh, oil paintings. Oh, okay. Some are, some are. So some are prints, some are oils? This was a commissioned oil painting. Got you. That's a print of the original oil, which is right here. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, awesome. So you got oh slave Leia going on there. <laughs> I guess that's your popular one, huh? What's that? The slave Leia. I guess that's a popular one. Uh, it is, but we can't call her. Well, at least look at some of them called slave Leia anymore. At least in the uh, the toys. So. Got you. Costumes like that. She still carried to me, man. <laughs> Here's a close up of some of this killer artwork. And look at the detail. Has uh, Carrie Fisher ever, or Mark Hamill, see your work? Uh, yeah, actually, Mark wanted to buy the original painting uh, here, but uh, somebody beat him to it, and then Carrie Fisher and I became good friends on uh, the Slave Leia piece. Oh, yeah? Because originally, Lucasfilm refused it after they commissioned me for it because they said I made her look too sexy. Well, that really pissed off Carrie, so... <laughs> She, uh, she embraced had, that. I know that for a fact. She had me print a big one for her house. Like really? 24 by 36. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's not. So not only are you doing this for your own personal passion, because I'm assuming you love Star Wars, but to have the people who play the characters and embrace your art, that must mean a lot to you. Well, it's it's interesting because you become friends with them because they want to know more. They you know they want to commission you to do pieces. Um, you know, I work in. Hollywood from time to time working on movies. I'm working on a movie right now called The Lizard King, and um, you just get to know people because you're all working on the same project. You know, uh, a lot of times, uh, especially in the smaller films where the budgets are just you know tentpole, uh, the actors will be heavily involved and they'll want to you know they'll give their input in meetings. And, you know, especially when you're designing a costume or a location, you know they want to be involved, which is great because the more feedback you can get, you know, the easier it is to produce. Uh, the art. Uh, I tell you what, it must be a great feeling just to have that kind of embracement, especially from the artists who well, create the character. So, yeah, yeah, it's very collaborative. Very collaborative. Um, the studio's not so much, but, they, but the, <laughs> you know, the crew, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that's business to them, where this is art right. to all of us. Exactly. Right on. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time. Thank you for once okay, again being on the Collector Zone. Much.